What's happening, people? And once again, welcome back to youtube.com forward slash CubCamTV for this another edition of Cub Reacts as we jump into a brand new one here. I'm actually a couple of weeks late. The actual single was only released yesterday. The video has been around for a couple of weeks, though. This one, Angela alongside Harmonize with Taroka. Very excited to get into this one. As always, if you are new to the channel, please make sure you get involved by hitting that subscribe button on the right-hand side of the page, turning notifications on, leaving a like, leaving a comment, and all of that good stuff. We are very lively this morning, and I'm very excited to get into this one. So without further ado, let's start. We have a high budget video. <laughs> so over three minutes 30 and it's got an intro. <coughs> okay. All right, from the jump, we heard a few kind of previews across the intro to this one. Very Amma Piano sounding. Um, I don't want to instantaneously assume it's going to be an Amma Piano tune. Usually there's a couple of twists and turns, but it's already got the rhythm. It's got the shakers. It's got the uh, kind of little synth sounds we heard across the little previews across the intro. Um, again, there's a golden rule. If a tune is longer than 3 minutes 30 and it's got more than a 15 second intro, it is a high budget video. That's what we always say on this channel, so we'll see if we're right. Tell you what, I'm loving this as an intro. There's something really cool about whispering the vocals. I don't know why it just gives it this extra sense of kind of anticipation. As far as I'm aware, this is the first time we've reacted to an Angela tune on the channel. It might be the second time. Um, so if you are new to the channel, be aware there will be a lot of cuts, a lot of pauses. We're here to break down the sonics as much as anything else. Um, so be aware, we're going to pause a fair bit. I'll leave a full link to the actual video in the description down below, though. If you can't deal with me speaking. <laughs> The works really well about her voice right from the jump is it reverbs really nicely. It fits on this kind of euphoric feel that you get off a lot of Amma piano tunes. Again, you're hearing those very sort of classic, almost kind of um, trance style synthesizers in the background, just kind of adding an extra kind of level of intensity and kind of color to the uh, the actual texture of the arrangement. And I think with Angela's vocal, um, it naturally reverbs very nicely. So there isn't like a crazy amount of reverb on it, but you can hear it just slowly fading rather than just cutting at the end of her voice. And it just adds this kind of extra sense of space. Again, the idea of kind of euphoria. Reverbs are very heavy when you're trying to kind of create that sort of sonic experience of euphoria. It works really nice. <laughs> Simpson in the background. Really nice kind of folding in of the harmony on that one. Again, you see what I mean about the feeling of euphoria? That's what this one brings. There's something very clean about the way that her vocal sits on top of this. Again, the whole tune sounds really well produced. Like Everything's very precise. Everything is very kind of bright. The high end is really prominent, but not piercing on all of the instrumentation and the vocals as well. It's going to be interesting to hear how Harmonize's vocal kind of sits on top of this as well, because his vocal tends to kind of fluctuate um, sort of a frequency rise. Sometimes it's really high. Sometimes it's really low. It, you never know what you're going to get with a harmonized vocal. So again, I think this is a really interesting um, kind of combination. Again, those simps in the background, those very sort of trance style simps really adding to the feel. This is a proper roller as well, man. Really well produced. Angela. Yeah, 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 We're rolling with 808 yeah, rather than logs. Yeah. Like, 
like they sound like 808 um, kick drums rather than the sort of more metallic sounding sort of pulses you get when you use log drums in the low end. But again, it could just be a very heavily filtered log drum. They have a very similar kind of texture in Tombra once you take away the sort of metallic shine at the top. Um, but again, giving a lot of pace and um, kind of pulsating feel to the low end on this one, you're supposed to have these kind of very spacious um, breakdowns when you're when you're kind of working in the Ama piano sound. And I think they've done that very nicely, just allowing space for the instrumental to breathe, building up anticipation for the next verse and just giving the whole tune um, again a bit more of a progressive feel like the best Amma Piano tunes that I hear are the ones that sound like they're constantly progressing growing expanding and changing um, this one has that kind of feel to it like we're now it feels like we're now done with Angela's intro we're now going to move on to Harmonizer's verse I would presume and then back to the chorus again that's what I would, how I would presume this one would now um, yeah, 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 yeah. Gamasita, kill a moja na crazy. Sit your kawaita, kama una bajeti. Uta zani karibi, alivo ni dabi kama pota. I love the kind of the, 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 the subtle harmonics that are being put onto this vocal towards the end of each line as well. That da, 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 da. Again, slightly dissonant in combination with the rest of the uh, the vocal melodies, but it still works. It adds this sort of feeling of urgency, this feeling of, oh, something's about to happen. And it's really cool how different kind of harmon how harmonics can kind of sit with each other and give different emotional feelings. He sounds great on this, I've got to say. This sounds like um, a very well thought out um, collaboration. It's one that definitely makes sense and again the consistency we're seeing from harmonize this year is pretty much unrivaled like i don't know anyone who's releasing as much music as he is maybe buju potentially um but not with the same impact like every single one of these tunes is absolutely slapping you know um not saying that buju's aren't but i just feel that there's a level up to what harmonize is doing this year <laughs> There we go, bringing those vocals back for as well. Really nice, man. It's kind of giving the whole thing, it just feels like a very well-rounded tune. Like everything's been thought out, everything is kind of being used to the maximum without over washing any of the kind of elements in there. You know, it feels like that Angela vocal, which is the sort of central feature of this um it's being reused really nicely quite sparingly as well that sort of na, 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 that little little, little melody there again i can't sing so i can't recreate it properly but that sort of little melody we're hearing throughout the middle it's been not it's not been used too much it's not been overused it's just kind of sprinkled in here and there and it brings you right back to the original point of the tune so really nicely kind of circular well formatted um arrangement <laughs> It's quite a minimal breakdown um, in comparison to a lot of things that we've heard on sort of Amma Piano tunes over the last few months, especially people are going very heavy on the sort of unpredictable log drum melodies that you hear over um, these sort of breakdown sections primarily. This one seems quite subtle. It almost feels like they've gone, no, let's just relax it. It doesn't need to be crazy. It doesn't need to be like the main point of the tune. Um, but it's still interesting, you know, it's still kind of um, sonic. It's like having a mint after dinner. Um, it's like having a palate cleanser. It just kind of settles everything. It kind of just nullifies any sort of um, overlapping elements. And it just gives it this kind of cleansing feel in the middle of the tune, which works really nicely. This has been really enjoyable, man. I've got to say. <laughs> Mad stuff going on in the video that I don't particularly want to dive into. But um, apart from that, the uh, tune itself is very, very good. Um, again, I really like Angela's vocal on this. Um, I think she does a very good job of just kind of making the tune sound complete. Um, on a sonic level, again, I'm not here to analyse lyricism as much. We're here to analyse sonics. That's what we kind of specialise here on Cubcam TV if you are new to the channel. Um, but yeah, I think actually they worked quite nicely. They worked nicely next to each other as well. I think Harmonise brought the perfect kind of additional vocal level just to kind of make the tune sound a lot more complete. I love the fact you had these bridge sections in the middle that were so stripped back and so kind of moved away from uh, anything that we've seen um, 
either side so it just gives it this kind of again this sort of palette cleanser kind of feel um and overall i think it's a collaboration that sonically works really really well so there we go guys hopefully you have enjoyed this uh, technical analysis and musical breakdown if you did please make sure you're getting involved by hitting that subscribe button on the right hand side of the page turning notifications on leaving a like leaving a comment all of that good stuff we've got a couple more bits to get into today so we'll be popping up with a couple more uploads for now though that's it from me and we'll see you all next time peace but the sun in a bright and cold. Make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel right now, Cobb Camp TV. Stay locked.